A few weeks ago, me and my boy Seb Zillner were in the studio cooking up. He's amazing on the sax, so he just put in some sax over some chill lo-fi beats for me. And all of a sudden, he pulls out a flute. And he plays a little melody, and it reminded me of the Boondocks theme song. And I was like, dang, I haven't really done a little theme song flip in a minute. While you're here, why not we do a little lo-fi flip of the Boondocks theme song? So we pull up the theme song, and right away, he just starts learning it by ear, just like on the flute right then and there. It was crazy. Once he recorded it, I adjusted it a little bit to be on a tempo that I wanted. And how did I do that? By adding some drums. Got a mixture of sounds in there, but I also just dropped LJ Drum Kit Volume 1. I used a lot of sounds in this beat. Um, You're like, bro, aren't you on L like Volume 4 by now? Yes, but if you didn't know, a long time ago, I deleted Volume 1 because it just wasn't the same vibes. I really leaned heavy into this lo-fi boom bap kind of style. The original Volume 1 had like trap sounds, R&B sounds. So I was like, you know what? Let me just redo it, make a smaller version of it. There's like 41 shots and like 10 drum loops and it's only $15. So link in the description, go grab that. I called it LJ Jump Kit Volume 1 Redo. <laughs> so now you can get the whole bundle if you don't have it. But anyway, yeah, I did those drums. And then uh, the next thing I needed to do was get some kind of chords going. You know me, I like chords, I like roads. I ended up playing these roads right here. Here's how it sounds with the flute. And then also, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the timing of the original, the flute just goes on and on and on. So I had him stop and I also had him add like these two extra little parts. So basically right here, this is me just chopping it up. And then he just added this little part for fun. Because if you don't know, here's the original. See, the flute just picks up immediately after, and that's what I didn't want. But anyway, let's hightail it back. We duplicated the roads, switched out the sound with this pad from Omnisphere. There's some big side chain on that, spaced out, give it that airy vibe. And lastly, the bass. Um, been rocking with key bass still. If you saw that video I did of like the top five free lo-fi plugins, this key bass, free, excellent bass. So the only little extra I added was I replayed the original melody on the bell. I don't know. In the original song, there's a bell in there that just, it, it adds so much swagger to it. So I added that here in my version as well. And this is how that all sounds together. So arrangement wise, it wouldn't have been that great if the flute was just repeating and repeating, then I would have been, you know, bored as hell. And you probably would too. So another thing I did with that bell was I replayed the whole melody on that bell. And then certain parts where the flute isn't playing, there's just the bell and it sounds like this. And yeah, 
yeah, last thing I did to really spice it up was add this little doom. Because, you know, it's a cool build up in the original song. It's like doo 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 doo. So I kind of did something similar with the kick, where in the beginning and in certain parts, it comes in like. But yeah, besides that super simple beat, you know me, I've been on a mission to use real instruments as much as possible. So I'll have my boy Seb play this live and direct on flute, made all the world of a difference for me, and it was super fun. So the song is out right now. Go listen to it, go stream it, go share it. Let me know, should I get back to doing the theme song clips? Uh, this made me really happy to do, so maybe I will. Let me know what I should do next. Peace.